In today's video, I'm excited to unveil my first double-breasted suit made by Joe and Davidge Himmerjani. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Joe, Davidge, hey. Hey. Hey, thank you guys so much for coming into the office. Thank you for having us. And uh, you know, it's always a pleasure uh, to be with you guys and in your company. We've got a lot of great videos we're filming today. Uh, but I couldn't be more excited, actually so excited that I've let the cat out of the bag. I put the suit on this morning as opposed to un unveiling it for the first time on this video. My first double-breasted suit that you made for me. I, so far, when you walked in, it looks really good. I mean, how does it feel? Well, it feels great. I hope I look as good as you look in your suits because I think you, in part, were kind of the inspiration for this piece because, you know, so often you're wearing double-breasted suits. Yeah. And they're great. They're very formal. They need to be buttoned they, to look really good. Yeah. And, and you do a lot of presentations. You meet clients. So this is the perfect thing for you. It's my London, you know, nice little London city suit, I think. And, and it's this is a classic uh, cut. It's not too radical. It doesn't have excessive belly. Ever so mild belly. And it's got that uh, four, four, and, four and an eighth inch lapel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is just the right width. Right balance for a nice, classic, yeah. elegant double breast. And this is the cousin of almost what you're wearing because exactly. it's out of that uh, 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 the Draper's, Draper's five-star fabric. Five-star fabric. Absolutely. And it's a, what, a heavyweight fabric? It's, it's heavy. It's probably the best for the double breasted. But I've got a single breasted suit made out of the fabric you're wearing and, and it the looks charcoal. As, and it looks as good. And then this is, we. I said, you know what, we need to do something in navy. And you said, well, why don't we do double breasted? Yeah, this is great. It actually looks, f feels from here a little bit lighter, but it's the same way. Same way. It's great. Yeah. 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 And, and so, you know, Joe and Davidge, I mean, you guys, of course, you know, make a ton of suits, right? You know, where do double breasted suits kind of fall in you know, just the distribution of what you're making these days? Uh, I think it's still under 5%. Really? Yeah, it's still low, but I think it'll start picking up because you're seeing it, it it's a it's a showy suit mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's not. It's definitely kind of a statement piece, right? Statement piece. It's More presence. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's definitely a statement. You walk in with the double-breasted suits. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, you, you do get looks, but I think it'll move up to your between yeah. 30 and 40%, I yeah. think you'll see more and more people getting yeah. the classic navies and the classic charcoals and double-breasted. Yeah. And as you exhaust your ideas for you know, two-piece, this is nice to have. Yeah, and nice to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. you can actually break up this jacket. You can wear a jacket. You just know, wear it as an odd kind odd of jacket. Odd jacket, yeah. yeah. double-breasted, it's nice. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Pair of a, with the pair of a, you know, denim Khaki. jeans like uh, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, or a cream. Yeah. Or, yeah. And you can wear them open. It just looks better. And yeah. Better. And so, Joe and Division, I mean, one of the things I love about you guys is, you know, of course, the father-son duo. But you guys really kind of straddle the generational gap. I mean, father and son, right? You've been in the business, you know. 40 years. For a long time. And, you know, of course, you're, and you've been in it in your own right, what, almost a decade now? Uh, it's actually starting my 12th year. 12th year. Yeah. Crazy. So with double-breasted suits, I mean, whenever you started, Joe, you know, back you know, back in, when was it, in the 70s and 80s? Or? Yeah, 78, yeah. 78. Um, I mean, how many people were wearing double-breasted suits? I mean, was it a more common? Yeah, I think a lot more common then. And they wore the, you know, the notch double double-breasted the, the, and a little bit baggier. Okay. So the real tailored double-breasted, it's where we are at. And um, they almost, if it's not, if it was not done properly, it almost made you look bigger. Bigger, okay. Or, or now the yeah. button stances touch higher. Okay. Still a proper stance, but gives a little bit more updated cut. Yeah. Well, it's a slightly kind of tighter aesthetic than what you see with like San Anderson and Shepherds, uh, you know, which they're famous, you know, for their iconic double-breasted suit silhouette. But it's a much lower button stance. This has got a real, you know, vase suppression with some, you know, some drape here. So you still have some fullness a here, fullness. little, very slight fullness. Mm -hmm. So you have that built. built. Yeah, yeah. It just looks yeah. front. You know. And so, David, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, people our age. I mean, do you see, you know, people our age that are kind of coming in and you know, really kind of getting into dressing well? And do you have many clients requesting double-breasted suits or? Uh, slowly more. I think after they've built, established their base wardrobe, mm -hmm. and they're looking for something a little bit 
more showy but still classic. So it requires a little confidence. I mean, you've got to be comfortable wearing a suit to wear a double-breasted suit. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and once they try it, they love it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've, I've worn it out a few times. And, of course, I'm always treated well in a suit. But I think a double-breasted suit really takes that up oh. to a whole other level. Oh, yeah. Um, just because, again, it's so uncommon. And it's a very formal, very, you know, very elegant look, right? Yeah. And especially the way we've cut it for you, I think, I, I mean, we've achieved something really good, getting it to very close fit without discomfort, still mm -hmm. the movement. Yeah. So I think you'll notice that. It's, and it's balanced. It's not too, you know, drapey. Not too It's drapey. not too Italian with like a huge belly and, yeah. you know, like with, yeah. right. you know, yeah. you know stylistically lapel, you know, jumping off the shoulders. Like four and a half, exactly. Yeah. There's nothing, um, you know, there's no floating anything. Yeah. There's no floating peaks. Mm -hmm. and things. It just lays flat on your chest. Um, and, you know, you... It just looks nice. It's timeless, I think. Yeah. For the next 10 years, you could well, wear it. Especially this fabric. Yes, this fabric. And for the next 10 years, you could wear this suit. Yeah. And it'll, nobody will say it. This was done in 2000 yeah. or 2020. Well, hopefully, I age like you. And I'll be <laughs> you know, able to wear this exact suit without alterations in 10 years. <laughs> you will. You're looking good. Yeah. So, Davij, I mean, you know, whenever you have a client come in and that's interested in maybe, you know, kind of trying a double-breasted suit. I mean, what kind of advice or what, you know, how do you move someone into that direction and where would you encourage someone to start? Uh, I think basic, solid, double-breasted is always nice. It's not too garish, mm -hmm. not too loud, nice details. I love the rope shoulder on this jacket particularly for yeah. a for double-breasted suit. Yeah. Uh, and this also has two buttonholes, yeah, one on each of the belt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Milanese, beautiful Milanese beautiful buttonholes too. Uh, which just adds some detail mm -hmm. without being too loud still. Yeah. Looks beautiful. So where would you go from this? I mean, so again, this is a foundational uh, wardrobe piece. Um, you know, where would you go next? A subtle pinstripe. Okay. Or very soft Glen, uh, Prince of Wales. Okay. For double-breasted. All right. Looks what about odd jackets would you do at, like a double-breasted? I mean, I guess one of the benefits of this is I could wear it as a kind of a blazer. My father loves linen double-breasted. Okay. Uh, so anything soft has a little more Italian look to it. Mm -hmm. uh, softer shoulder works well for yeah, those. Yeah, yeah I'd, uh, you know, I'd highly recommend uh, a little brighter blue fresco with white pearl buttons. Okay, <laughs> I have that. So. That is your tropical. You know, living in Hong Kong, you, <laughs> yeah. you yeah, I like to dress. Your look. Yeah. 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 What about? Um, is there anyone that you'd say a double-breasted suit wouldn't work for, or any? Double breast is suitable for a lot of gentlemen, depending on the cut. We can cut it differently, a little lower stance. Sometimes mm -hmm. if uh, they're not as tall, we can cut actually six to one, which kind of elongates that lapel. Okay. So it works better for, for somebody that's not as, not as tall. Okay. Yeah. But I think uh, I, I would, if you have a big belly, I'd avoid double breasted. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you need to be, you need to have a about four to five inch drop from chest to waist okay. at, at the minimum mm -hmm. to get it, to get that silhouette. Silhouette. Yeah. I think you need some, I mean, you can do, I've done double breasted for five feet, six inches up to six, six, six inches. Yeah. So I think I've done it for all. I think we can span that. It can be yeah. slimming for most gentlemen though okay. too. We cut it a little bit closer, double breasted mm -hmm. than single breasted. So it kind of hugs the waist. Yeah. So a little bit more slimming sometimes than single-breasted jackets. Yeah. Well, I guess without further ado, let's, I guess, you know, uh, yeah, let me final take, fitting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me check. Um... So I couldn't be any more happy with the, the double-breasted suit, and the five-star fabric is, um, is bulletproof, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it just, Chris, like, drapes. I mean, I'm just, like, looking at this, uh, this beautiful shape uh, and this, you know, the shoulder crispness. It's got mm -hmm. that structure that you like you know yeah. uh, it's really nice just the right amount of cuff showing this is yeah. like we when that was nailed uh, right on and this you know the leg usually double breast it's always we have a difficult time and you have uh, the the mic here also you mm -hmm. know the, and it, the pull is so minimum almost not there yeah. so as smooth as it can be mm -hmm. you know it's nice and, and so you're seeing this for the first time i mean 
What do you look for in terms of what's right and uh, what's... I have your body posture in mind, then I want to see all the problems with body posture have been corrected. Okay. So your right side drops, I want to see if it's breaking slightly mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the right side. I mean, it's like almost there, almost perfect. You can feel that on the right more than mm -hmm. the left side, slightly. Okay. Yeah. So Just you, the fullness in terms of... Uh, no fullness, in. and here, right, at the armhole. Because mm -hmm. your right side drops, and you can feel that. So, okay. little bit. so I look for things breaking underneath. I look for pulls, um, and I don't see any of that, which is nice, yeah. you know. And I look for, if you're very forward shoulders, I look for... Pulling. Uh, pulling there, and then if you turn slowly, I'll show you. And then I look for your uh, sleeve stance, you know. Could be improved slightly, like, you know. You got, if you've got more backward arm, then we control that. Mm -hmm. This is good. So we will watch the vent, especially with the mic here, and this vent is smooth. Okay, turn this way a little bit. Yeah, you can see. So you've just got enough drape here, like 1cm drape. So fold your arms forward, like move your arms. It's good. How's that feel? Yeah, it's not uncomfortable at all. Yeah, and this time we raised your collar back for sure. And we made the collar height a little bit wider so you see, because you have a very tall collar on your shirts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so it could, I mean, it could go even higher, but I think that would be like, you know, it, it'll affect the sides of the, the collar. But this is a nice height right now. And the length is, in the back, is right on. I mean, it could be eight, you know, that's changing always, yeah. eight or a quarter longer. Uh, depends on different cut, mm -hmm. but the front length is good, just again, slightly. And we always watch for the balance, the front and back balance, you know? Yeah, and so you, the balance is you don't want the front hanging down too low. Too low. I mean, it should balance the right. front and the back. Uh, yeah, so you, and, and the balance affects the sleeves, the arm hole, hole, everything. Mm -hmm. So, and I yeah. think it's... Uh, the shoulder has a beautiful angle here, too. Yeah, yeah. and you got, you got the slope. Padding. Yeah. You don't want it to square, square off too off. much. And you don't get the dimple yeah. or anything. Really so, Davinci, I mean, whenever you look at this, what do you see? I mean, it's, you know, for someone through. that's not, you know, what are you thinking in your mind is like you're going through that kind of a final delivery and saying, okay, that's right. This, the, like, these are the things I look for. Oh, visually, I always look at button stance, I think, for, and shoulder first, uh, and armhole, okay. uh, making sure the armhole doesn't break too much. Uh, shoulder width is proportional. Uh, and the stance is balanced with the rest of the jacket. Okay, so here we've got the button stance. So would you explain what you mean by balance? Uh, the balance between the top of the shoulder and bottom of the jacket. Mm -hmm. So the button stance is not too high and not too low. Yeah. And directly conforms to your waist. Yeah. So what would something unbalanced on this look like? Unbalanced, by preference you can make lower, but sometimes too high, it kind of cuts up. Mm -hmm. Too high and shortens the lapel. Okay. This one has a nice angle, allows the lapel to come down, uh, and still uh, directly at, more at your natural yeah. waist. Okay. And this is a six, six button. Yeah. Two to button. Yeah. So and uh, and the rule is you always button only the top one. You mm -hmm. leave the bottom one open. Okay. Okay. But then you could also take this six to one. Six to one. Yeah. So six to one would be. Let me show you. Uh, yeah, we like that. Roll down to the. So it would down. roll even more. Even more. And then the you know, these, the buttons would still be here. It Identical. Just would be cut you may them. raise this one like a half an inch, mm -hmm. so you get that roll. And that's a, an even kind of more classic bit more kind of seventies. Yeah, seventies, eighties. Yeah. And that, yeah. Can be more if you make a very relaxed jacket. Sometimes we make six to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think this is, yeah. the, yeah. formal and. Your, and you were saying the secret with the double-breasted suit is to always leave it buttoned. Yeah. I mean, you even sit down with yeah, the jacket I love buttoned. Button. Yeah, I, I think it looks nice. Yeah. And it looks, you can see it, it just looks better. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it feels like you have a, you have a jacket on. Yeah. You know, you, but it's, it's very comfortable. I mean, I feel wrapped. Yeah, right? wrapped. But not, it's the right word. Yeah, wrapped. but it's not tight. And uh, especially on a colder day like today, it's right. nice to have a little bit of kind of extra fabric. Right. You know, this with the uh, double-breasted top coat that you did. You're windproof. Yeah, I mean, I go to London in a week, and there's no question I'm taking this with me, and I'm taking that double-breasted kind of navy top coat with a nice Optimo hat. 
I'm going to be ready. You're going to be ready for yeah. any weather, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What That's else, David? I mean, so this is done with a high-waisted trouser. I'm wearing um, a higher I'm wearing waisted, braces. A little larger cuff, mm -hmm. two-inch cuff. Yeah. Uh, and you can piece. really see it with the tie. I mean, you know, normally, you know, the tie would kind of just be kissing the top of the trousers, but because these are so high, the tie is going to drop down past that a little bit. And yeah, you could tie it shorter. And you can see bit. the drape of the pleats. Mm-hmm. Which is another really important aspect. Again, yeah, that the, it's the the buttons for the uh, braces are yeah. the, at least the innermost is yeah. right above right. the uh, the pleats yeah. so that they open. Yeah, and just the point that if you you don't have a belly, mm -hmm. uh, but if you did, then and if you didn't have a suspenders, it would keep going down, and that's how your pants would look. Yeah, yeah it's cut higher waist. This is cut properly. So, so when you raise the pants higher, the mm -hmm. pleats fall. And you can see the down. drape, right, or the pleat. You can see the down. crease all the way down. Yeah. And we look for crease where it hits, right on your center of your laces, right in your center of your laces, right there. Yeah, with a nice soft break. Nice soft and break. This pocketing on the pants is actually different, too. It's actually, uh, you know, offset jetted pocket. into the uh, side yeah. of the pants. It's a nice offset pocket. You okay. Not the pocket. So it's a cleaner... You don't have the pulls that you get in the ankle pocket. So it's a different, you know, some people... Also, we make like on the side or slightly ending. This actually jetted into the pants. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah. What else? I mean, anything else that you look for yeah. that's just important, especially maybe with the double-breasted suit, even more importantly than single? Oh, the edging on the shoulders yeah. is uh, beautiful here. Uh, this is constructed with slightly heavier roping, mm -hmm. still lighter padding. Not not heavy here, yeah. so still light and comfortable at the top, uh, forming around the neck, and then just edging here to kind of refine that. It gives it that presence. With edging, you're talking about again, kind the of rope. roping, which gives it the little. And a great example of you know not that is what you've got right here, yeah. which the, has nothing. It's the flowering. So so here you have a real defined line here, and and real defined like a you know, call or you know, like a nice rope. And here it just flows off the shoulders. Just, there's no raising, except you see a little bit of gathers. Mm -hmm. You know, so, which is, gives you a nice, that, uh, you know, shirt yeah. type shoulder. And so this is a kind of a Neo Neapolitan. Yeah, and it actually you know. is functional because it gives you a lot more room to move. And it's, it's so it's cut fuller at the, Top the top of the head. The sleeve cap is fuller. Yeah. And then as they're doing this by hand, it's set by hand. It's by hand. Always in. set by hand. Always. You know, they're setting in additional. Yes. And what they're doing, they're just giving you gathers on top. So it definitely gives you more room uh, for, uh, you know, for anybody who's got biceps, big biceps, it's mm -hmm. nice to have. Sometimes we even put like hand stitching all across. It makes it a little more ornate. Yeah. A little more detailing. Yeah, pig stitching. Pig yeah, stitching. Pig stitching. Yeah. Add some yeah. detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody who has a slightly narrow shoulders, the rope shoulder it just makes them look even better. Yeah. You know. So mm -hmm. that's these are all these are all look enhancers. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And you know again I'm really happy with the uh, the braces on the trousers. Yeah. Because again, I mean, the virtue here is that the trousers are hanging from the shoulders, right? Not from the waist, right? And so, without these, you know, I mean, it's got the side adjuster, so I, I right. guess I could wear these without. But really, I mean, most technically, you should be cutting these. I mean, like an inch or an inch and a half, slightly of, looser of a fullness. I mean, fullness. they should be really loose, loose, and so uh, you don't have any pressure. So there's nothing right here. I mean. Yeah, and and when you get it tighter, it should rest on your hip bone. It mm -hmm. needs. Your pants need something to rest. To grip on, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, they just fall down. They just right? fall down. Or sag. And, and if you have uh, even a slight belly, it makes it worse. It keeps sliding down. Yeah. So, it, I mean, suspenders look... I mean, see what it does to the pant. It just makes mm -hmm. that crease razor sharp, you know? Yeah. And it prevents them... I mean, because the other problem is if your pants begin to kind of sag down a little bit or fall down throughout the day... It looks sloppy. What happens is the break on the trouser Gets becomes higher. too large. Yeah. Uh, and then it looks sloppy. Yeah, and of course you want to balance out your torso with the pants. Mm -hmm. So this is just yeah. the perfect height. Perfect Any more, you'd you know, have no torso yeah, left. Yeah, you'd have no torso left. So, so to turn around and show you. The back is beautiful, clean. Um, you know, it shapes beautifully. It drapes. The vent also falls like really good. Um, we take a lot of credit for the cut. But I think the fabric also helps yeah. make it 
come together yeah. properly. Well, the yeah. five star fabric is. Yeah, it's great. You know, so, really you know, great. you got to give credit to yeah, the. It's 11, cloth. 12 ounce, says that beautiful ounce cut. It's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. yeah. So, it definitely mm -hmm. makes a difference. Yeah. So, and then, you know, just again, going back to the trousers. I mean, I like the cut. I mean, there's fullness, but they're not too full, but they're also not skinny. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's a really kind of yeah. nice balance. It's, it's your look. Some people like it really tight. Yeah. But when you have it, when Pleated. you start tapering too much, then you lose that, that Fall classic of drape. Mm -hmm. And you wear this all day, you will never feel like tightness in yeah. here or restriction in your thigh. Yeah. It's, it's good okay. balance between the thigh and the knee yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. 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 yeah, so what's next then? I mean, so I've got this and you know, a beautiful kind of dark navy. I mean, do I have another one done in, in gray? It's too bad we don't have the, uh, I mean, if we could match that dye lot, we could just do the jacket to match the trousers we've already done. Yeah. Um, I mean, what I would like you to do is use this double-breasted and yeah. just beat it up, like, wear it, uh, you know, wear it as a blazer, wear it as a suit, and mm -hmm. you'll grow it. It'll, it'll either grow on you or you'll say, you know what, one is enough. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Give a little bit of time to settle and see what settle, I think. Yeah, so, and just... Well, great suit. Okay. And, uh, you know, thank you, Joe. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank Excellent. You, thank you. Beautiful.